Hey, what's up everyone? The wait is finally over. The Seven Deadly Sins Idol Adventure is here, and we're diving headfirst into all the action. If you're a fan of the anime, you're gonna love this game because it brings together all your favorite characters, ready to join your team and kick some serious butt. But with so many heroes to choose from, it can get a little overwhelming, right? That's where this video comes in. Today, we're breaking down our ultimate Seven Deadly Sins Idol Adventure tier list ranking every hero from the top tier legends to those who might need a little extra love. Whether you're building a team full of powerhouses or just want to know which characters will give you the best bang for your buck, I've got you covered. So grab your snacks, settle in, and let's get into the nitty gritty of who's ruling the battlefield and who might need to sit on the sidelines for now. I'm quickly moving on to the video and I'm ranking characters in the Seven Deadly Sins Idol Adventure. Before we start, if you enjoy these types of tier list videos, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Enjoy watching. My friends, only 0.1% of viewers subscribe. If you like this type of content, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you in advance for your support. The characters in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Champion Taizu, Vivian, Dahaka, Hugo, Dan Belbus, Solad, Giant Girl Dolores, and Theo. Alright folks, let's talk about the D-tier characters in Seven Deadly Sins Idol. Yep, the ones you really want to avoid. These are the characters that, honestly, you should only use if you're absolutely out of options. I mean, we all know that desperate times call for desperate measures, but trust me, you don't want to rely on these guys unless you're completely backed into a corner. They're like the stale bread at the back of the pantry, technically still food, but you're not exactly excited to eat it, right? Now, don't get me wrong, every character has its place, but these D-tier heroes are just not worth your time or resources. They're the bench warmers of your roster, the ones you're hoping never to actually need. If you see one of these pop up, just know that it's a sign to keep grinding and save up for someone better. So, unless you're in a really tight spot, do yourself a favor and steer clear. The characters in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Denzel, Gara, Jenna, Elizabeth, Jillian, Israf, Mage Gilfrost, and Fraudrin of Selflessness. Alright, so let's dive into the C-tier characters in Seven Deadly Sins Idol. These are the ones that, well, they're not exactly going to be your go-to heroes in the heat of battle. They've got some niche uses, sure, but let's be real, they're not the ones you'll be relying on to carry you through the tough stages. These characters might shine in very specific situations, but overall, they're just not packing the punch you need as you progress. Think of them as the kind of friends who are fun to have around at a party, but probably shouldn't be the ones driving you home. Now, don't get me wrong, these characters aren't entirely useless, they have their moments, but once you start collecting those B tier and above characters, it's time to give these guys a well-deserved break on the bench. They're like that old pair of shoes you still keep around, they've served you well, but it's probably time to upgrade. So, if you've got some C tier characters on your team right now, it might be a good idea to start looking for some better options. You'll thank yourself later when the battles start getting tougher. The characters in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Droll of Patience, Fairy Helbrum, Holy Knight Ice Gustav, Dale, Black Claw Ren, Pump, Gryamore, Simon, Twigo, Nanashi, Giant Girl Diane, Jude, Zoria, the Rose Orlondi, Wilo, Dorokio, Arden, Alioni, Grandmaster Henriksen, Jericho, Slater, Guila, Dojido, and Dual Sword Gan. Alright, let's chat about those B tier characters in Seven Deadly Sins Idol. These are your solid, middle of the road heroes. Think of them as the trusty sidekicks who aren't the star of the show, but still pull their weight. If you're just starting out and feeling a bit lost in the chaos, these characters can be your safety net. They're dependable and will help you get a grip on the game mechanics without leaving you frustrated. But let's be honest, they're not going to blow your mind. They do the job, but they won't carry you to victory in the later stages. Now, here's the thing. Once you've gotten the hang of things, you'll probably want to swap them out for something a bit flashier. These guys are like that old reliable pair of shoes you wear when you can't find anything better. They're comfortable, they get you where you need to go, but you're not exactly showing them off, right? So, while B tier characters are fine for a bit, make sure you're keeping an eye out for those higher tier heroes to really start dominating the game. The characters in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Sloth King, Atra, Ban, Zaneri, Dryfus, Gelder, Liz, Purge Zaratras, Guilt Hunter, King Arthur, Tavern Master Meliodas, Cardival Helbrum, Fighter Diane, Hauser, Golgius, Frisia, Demon Hendrickson, and Death Pierce. 
Alright, so let's talk about the A-tier characters in Seven Deadly Sins Idol. Now, I know what you're thinking, A-tier? Why not just go for S-tier and call it a day? But trust me, these A-tier characters are no joke. Sure, they might not have the absolute firepower of an S-tier hero, but don't underestimate them. These are the kind of characters that can really shine when you need them the most, filling in the gaps and holding their own in tough situations. Imagine you're struggling to get a full squad of those elusive S-tier heroes. Frustrating, right? That's where these A-tier characters come in to save the day. They're reliable, strong, and most importantly, they're worth every bit of your time and resources. Just because they're in A-tier doesn't mean they're any less deserving of a spot on your team. In fact, these heroes are often the backbone of a solid lineup, offering great synergy and surprising versatility. So, if you find one in your roster, don't sleep on them. Give them the attention they deserve. The characters in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Dragon Sin of Wrath, Meliodas, Ruin, Warrior Matrona, Saint Elaine, Holy Knight Cain, Grey Road of Pacifism, Goddess of Nerobasta, Melascula of Faith, Sky Temple Elot, Galland of Truth, Monspi and Gloxenia. Alright folks, let's talk about the top tier heroes in Seven Deadly Sins Idol. The creme de la creme of characters you absolutely need to get your hands on. These are the S tier heroes, the ones who make everything else in the game feel like a warm up. When you pull these characters, it's like hitting the jackpot. They bring raw power, incredible abilities, and just the right amount of swagger to dominate any challenge the game throws at you. Now, if you're serious about pushing through the toughest content or just want to flex on your friends, these are the heroes you should be gunning for. Think of them as the all-stars of your lineup, the ones who are going to carry you to victory time and time again. Whether you're taking on the hardest bosses or climbing the ranks in PvP, these S-tier heroes are your golden ticket to the top. Trust me, once you've got them, you'll wonder how you ever played without them. The video ends here. See you in another video. Don't forget to subscribe.